What up guys, it is XBounty here and today we are doing a player review on Gary Twig, Inform and Super Inform. So we've got the 64 and the 72 version here um, and we're going to start with the 64 version but the teams we're going to start off with as you can see here a bit of a championship and SPL hybrid. We'll sort of Templeton in the top left being the left wing there but we've got two iterations as you can see and they are both nice teams pretty much the same team with the same links but we're going to go into Gary Twig the 64 version as you can see he's got 93 finishing being his main stat improved there and as we scroll down we can see his penalties are high 90s as well but a lot of his other stats are quite low um, and his other shooting stats aren't as good but as you can see he's got good sprint speed you know around 80 and 78 overall with nice jumping I think that's 80 around 80 jumping so we've just got a few goals here of the 64 in form um, but we're going to move into the 72 pretty early to do inform pretty early and as you can see Gary Twig that's the 64 version with his left foot as we know he's only got two star skills but that doesn't matter really because this player is all about getting the ball to him because his finishing is absolutely fantastic um, I've just got the super inform El Elkerson and he's got 84 shot and he's only got 85 finishing so with this 93 finishing you really can do a lot with him and I think I purchased him for around 14k in the end um, quite rare to purchase though as there aren't a lot on the market um, but we are going to move on actually to the 72 in form and then at the end we'll talk about which one we want to use so 99 finishing on the 72 one we've got 82 long shots which is a big improvement 99 penalties 84 shot power and 82 volleys which is um an average of about six plus improving all of them and nice decent sprint speed 81 increasing jumping of 86 so you know he's good in the air as well decent around 80 pace there P poor mental stats but what can you do so decent stats you know increased over the original but you know it's going to come with an increased uh, sort of price tag i think i got him in the end for about 20 thousand coins um which is not bad for a player of this quality even though he is 72 in form silver with not the biggest amount of pace no four star skills but he's pretty sick and as we can see is he's, he's lining up for a free kick which he's not known for but he curls it beautifully with his left foot and his trait is actually the poacher trait on all of the versions of him so we know that his finishing is always going to be high and with this 99 finishing it really does add something more to his game as you can see they're curled around the wall and there are many noticeable differences between the 64 and 72 and there's not a major price difference so in my opinion I think we should be going for the 72 version as you can see beautiful volley there on his left foot 82 volleys pretty decent with that 84 shot power as well putting it in with that 99 finishing you know all high stats for the shooting you want to be doing this getting the ball to him getting him to shoot on target and that's where you're going to be getting the best out of him so the formation i've been using as you know and you would have seen is the 4-3-2 and as you can see here gary twig just getting the ball and just turning a few plays showing his strength as well he has got a bit of strength and he just puts it into the back of the net and that is just another example of why he's he's actually just a very decent play i mean you could be getting all these other plays but you know if you want to try some it better and just decent um you know look, i mean look at that volley there for it for a person with about 80 shot now with this 78 version he just bangs that in cheeky fake shot as well to turn inside you know and you know with this play he isn't the best play he hasn't got the fastest you know he's got not the four star skills but you know it's to mix it up i mean he's scottish he's in the air trusted league not amazing link ups but you know there are some good you know scottish plays you've got burke on the right wing templeton on the left wing you know a lot of decent scottish players and as you can see here he's just going to bang in anything that gets in the box with you. you know he's got 86 jumping he's got decent heading accuracy and that's just one thing you can turn to if you know you're not getting in there with the uh, you know shots and stuff like that and you're having trouble you know just winging the crosses you know that's how you can try hard with him and as you can see here 
delicate dink over the keeper you know he's got the ability to do that with that 99 finishing I like super in form Vazte you know chipping is one thing you will be using because you know with that 99 finishing you know it, it can be pulled off which you know in FIFA 12 you know it's not been the first choice for me in any situation really except for with these informs as you can see here his jumping just getting over the player showing that you know he's got the strength and ability to get to that ball so in my um you know in my in my opinion guys you know if you want to mix it up a bit you know 72 version is a must if you want to get a better play but you know the 64 version is as good um you know but you know it's the same player in the end but you know the stats are you know there's better stats on the 72 so if you really if you haven't got an extra six grand to spend you know don't go for it but you know i would go for him you know 20k right now on the ps3 you know that's where i got him for and he is banged in around 23 goals in 14 games for me so you know if you want to try him out he's a great option you know mix it up a bit you're bored of the standard brazilians or you know spanish league and all that stuff and barclays premier league i'd say go for him lads so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this commentary and this play review and if you want to see more just drop a like or put something in the comments like that so anyway guys it's Benedict Brownie and I'll see you next time